Hey guys, it's Christina, and I'm here with the guys of Million Dollar Listing New York, Steve and Frederick. Welcome. Hi, Christina. Hi, we're missing one. Who? Ryan. <laughs> we pushed him out of the SUV on the way here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's on the road somewhere. Um, congratulations on season seven. Just premiered last night. It's fantastic. Thank you. What was it like watching it back? It was good. I always find it very exciting, especially in a premiere. Mm -hmm. I watched it by myself in my big apartment with the Twitter on, like seeing the comments yeah. and trying to gauge if people liked it or not. But they seemed to like it. I'm sure they did. Yeah. I liked it. It's super exciting. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, it's such a good time. And but like we, we this is like nine months of filming. Right. So I mean, yeah. sometimes it's almost like you forget some of it too because sure. it's like oh, yeah. so much time has passed and you remember it one way and then you see it again. And so it's 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 fun to watch sure. it. Sure, you know, totally. And see how it all comes together. And I feel like this season has like a um, kind of different vibe to it. It's like okay. it grew. It's like. A Faster and sexier and raw and mm -hmm. like oh, it's not so formatted. It's like ah, you never know what's gonna happen. Yeah. yeah. Why do you think that is? It's just a little it's looser. Like Robin like took off the condom. <laughs> <laughs> what, did, what did you say? No, no, that was that was this Ryan guy talking. That, that, was, that was Ryan talking. Okay. <laughs> um, Debbie says hi from Phoenix, Arizona. Yes, everybody, send oh in God, your questions and your comments. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are. Sorry. That's totally you know, okay. No, it's late. We've it's been fine. Doing this all you guys have been doing this all day. Um, so, what is that one moment that you can't wait for fans to see this season? Ooh, I have a few. Mm -hmm. um, there's one for me, like career-wise, mm -hmm. that's a huge, impactful um, decision th that I can't wait for. I can't wait to see how it plays out because it all. I was happened. there. Yeah, yeah. We and filmed then, together. oh yeah, and then the other part of it is actually we, we do it. We we go to we could say that right. Go to St. Lucia. No, we're not allowed to say that. Oh shit. <laughs> um, well, they didn't tell me that. Anyways, <laughs> blew that. Well, I go okay. somewhere, but yeah, go somewhere. Yeah, Exciting. <laughs> how about you, brother? Um, God. There's so many fun things. We have a lot of celebrities this season, which yeah. is exciting. Yeah, we saw Rebel we, Wilson in the premiere. Yeah, that and I really think exciting. next or next, the following episode is 50 set, mm -hmm. and there's a few others. It's, um, no, I just, I'm excited to share the babies, you yeah. know, because, yeah, it's just, uh, I can't believe, I look, watching back last night, mm -hmm. and I realized, that was just, we filmed that in what, February? They've January, so and they're so small, and now, you know, they are, Freddy's like this tall. No, I'm serious. <laughs> it's They're scary. Huge. Congratulations. They, grow, they are so, so cute. Yeah. Freddy's massive. Yeah, he's yeah. a big boy. How has uh, fatherhood changed you? Uh, it's making me a lot more tired and disheveled, <laughs> yes. but um, no, I feel like I feel very fulfilled. Mm -hmm. Like I feel, um, yeah, I feel really good. I was talking about it earlier. I feel like I'm a balloon that's like, yeah, taking off somewhere. It's really exciting. But yeah. it's a lot. Twins, anybody oh, yeah. who has kids, twins, it's a lot. Who and, and I say that I've, we have help and, mm -hmm. and our husband, and, uh, it's just, but it's still a lot. Yeah, who changes more diapers? You said you it makes you more sensitive, too. More sensitive, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you get, I mean, not that I wasn't sensitive yeah, before, but I think I have so much respect to anyone. Well, I respect to my parents and anyone as a parent, mm -hmm. and I look at my mother, especially my father, too, in a different way. And yeah, it just changes perspective on family and people in general. Yeah, yeah Jill was asking. She has twins as well, so how's oh, it going oh. for you? Sorry. I didn't yeah. <laughs> no, it's totally fine. Uh, yeah, I would imagine. Who, so who changes more diapers, you or Derek? Mm, we both. I mean, mm -hmm. the thing is with twins, you got to both like work all the time. It's not like yeah. one can hang in the sofa. Right. We have we have a nanny, so that helps too. But uh, I was never afraid of the diapers. No. I don't really care. It's like my kids, so it's like kind of nice to smell their poop. I don't really care. <laughs> oh, I don't really care. Do, do you want more children? Coming from the Marvel right. sexual. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> true. Uh, more kids? Um, possibly. Possibly, yeah. That's great. But I feel like last time I shared too much too early, so like mm -hmm. if we ever do it again, I'm going to be like... Yeah, wait for yeah. the right time. Wait. Do it on your terms. Yeah. Um, Sarah, uh, Sarah's asking Steve, will you babysit? Have you babysat the kids yet? Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I wouldn't call it babysitting, but I've I've spent time with the mm -hmm. kids and held them while Fred did, you know, something or Derek was doing something. I've I spent time with them. Yeah, yeah. And, that's awesome. And, and, so and I would I would definitely yeah. babysit. Yeah, like, I would say you really. Yeah. We haven't talked about it, but you he's yeah. so he was so good mm -hmm. and. He, especially my daughter, you were like, he in on the airport, it was a mess, and you were like really taking charge, and you're gonna be an amazing dad. I yeah. can't wait. Give me baby fever. 
I mean, <laughs> well, we're, you know, one step at a time. It's like, it's right. like, it's, I see, I see, you know, it's, it's amazing, mm -hmm. but I also see, you know, him struggling sure. a little bit. Yeah, it's a and lot it's like, of okay, work. like, yes, like, it's, you gotta just be with the right person and be ready. And, you know, that time in my life isn't yet. So sure. I don't think I'm having baby fever, but yeah. I definitely could see that for myself in the future. Sure. Um, we do see on the premiere episode that your ex girlfriend, that you work with your ex girlfriend. Mm -hmm. um, what was that like? Because that's <laughs> not always an easy situation. <laughs> I mean, it, it actually, it, I thought it was, you know, it's, look, there's so much history there. Mm -hmm. There was so much, I mean, we were together for two years. We lived together. You know, we obviously broke up for reasons, and you'll s probably see some of those reasons yeah. why play out and and how, you know, our relationship is now. And it was it's kind of strange because you go there with the, you know, with the business mindset, but you're still, like, you still go back to, like, you know, feelings are still sure, repressed yeah. and you don't know how to deal with them because you want to do it on a business level mm -hmm. and professional. And then it's, it was a very, uh, it was an interesting experience. It was, I mean, it was awkward for me to watch, to be honest, sure, last yeah. night, like, because it's almost like, it's like, it's like giggly, you know, like, but it was like, it, it was just strange, but it, but I think it's, uh, you know, I'm glad I did it. Sure. Uh, you know, it's I part of me, it's part of my history, like, mm -hmm. I, part of the reason I got to where I am today is I think because of the push that she gave me okay. when we were together and it yeah. didn't work out, but I, you know, the time we spent together, I think there was a reason for that, even though. Uh, yeah. I think you, you know, guys have a lot of feelings for each other still. I think when you you have a past, you always have some feelings, right. but it might not be the right person well, for like you. it seems like she wanted to get back together. I mean, this was, uh, well, how do you feel about that? <laughs> uh, you know, it takes, but it takes two. Yeah, it does. That is very true. That uh, is very true. I, I don't know. Like, look, I think, um, you know, for her, I think she, um, a beautiful thing about her, she remembers the good times. The, mm -hmm. Maybe a not so beautiful thing is I remember, like, the bad, <laughs> the bad times. times. Yeah. And, you know, when you, you know, and then the reasons, you know, I'm like the rational side and she's mm -hmm. like the emotional, which is why it was a really nice relationship while it lasted. But like when I, you know, rationalize it and that's mm -hmm. how I used to get over her. Um, there's reasons it didn't work, sure, of and course. if you're gonna romanticize it, then you're just gonna romanticize, and then the rational is gonna come back, yep, and that's how in my head come, it's like, all you know, come right, right back around. You know, yeah. You know, there's so many fish in the sea. Why? One hundred percent. Liz is asking if you are on Tinder. I'm not on Tinder. Not no. On Tinder. So if you see me on Tinder, <laughs> it's, not you. it's a catfish. I'm on Tinder. Under, <laughs> under dad body. Dad dad body. <laughs> <laughs> are you dating now? I'm going on dates. Going on I'm dates. not okay. uh, steady. No, Is that's it. Any, <laughs> anyone? Um, Debbie was asking before if there was any arguments this season. We do see one a little bit of a bickering between you and Ryan in the premiere episode. Yeah, he does bicker, doesn't he? Um, <laughs> that's why he's not here for the right, sculpture. Right. Yes. <laughs> he He's still off. fighting about it. Yeah, there's there's some there's some arguments. I mm -hmm. think there's a you know Ryan and I. You saw it first episode. Sure. I mean that I didn't really. I th thought it was a little blown out of proportion. Honestly, I think mm -hmm. like I expressed a positive and negative, and like looking back, I still kind of like n if you know me and Ryan knows me, like I joke. I joke about everything. I mean, just talked about you know <laughs> condoms in the beginning of this. Like it, that's my humor. Like right. and, and like if you know that about me, if you put me on a panel with you, like. It's not to hurt you. You're 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 a huge agent. You're not going to be hurt by sure. that. Like and it wasn't meant in a hurtful way. It was meant to just like make some fun out of you know a boring panel discussion. <laughs> like let's laugh. I, 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 really like, I said it. Yeah. No, well, I don't really know what was going on. I did say this to you already. I think it's because you, we were on a stage and mm -hmm. it was like a lot of people and cameras and then. But then what I like about this whole thing is that one, I'm not in the drama, two, <laughs> Ryan, I think, is so sensitive, which I love because that's maturity in a way for, for him. Because mm -hmm. remember, he used to be the one that threw, threw himself in the pool and like pushed people and certainly said a lot worse things to me and Luis yeah. over the years. So like he's now, I like it. It's changed and yeah. he's changed it for the better. So. Mm -hmm. Um, Julius asked. You do have that humor. <laughs> I have that humor, but I didn't. I said, I said, there's pros and cons. Here's a pro, like, and there's a, here's yeah. a, con, like, I mean. <laughs> um, Jewel just said, Steve just licked his lips. Swoon. <laughs> Thanks for making me say that, Jewel. You know, we've been talking all day. I probably need chapstick or something. So. Um, Debbie was asking, how much do you guys spend on clothes? You look great. You probably spend more than me. I spend way too much. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, because I like it. And then I, in my, 
book I wrote, I said that everybody should spend 10% of their income on clothing. Because when, no, honestly, yeah. because when you do Pre -tax that, you're... Pre-tax or after tax? When you do that, you're going to get more successful. You're going to look to feel mm -hmm. your best. You know, when I put on a good suit in the morning, hopefully I feel like I can go out and conquer New York. Sure. Um, it's the opposite for me. But yeah. no, I spent too much. Sure. They mm -hmm. made me iron my shirt today, and I was like, this is so... I can't like, even get that year on. Me, yeah, for the Today Show, we're like, and it was like, literally, literally they made me take off, so I just had a jacket on with no shirt in there. Like, <laughs> is that what you're wearing? Great. Um, what was it like working with 50 Cent? Um, it was great. Um, that, I can't wait to watch that. Um, it's a big house, house 51,000 square mm -hmm. feet, 50 rooms. Um, it's very diff challenging to sell um, because it's just too big for its own good. It's yeah. just huge. I mean, we mm -hmm. got lost, literally, like, you're going you're <laughs> to watch. Uh, it has a stripper pole, it has a nightclub inside, a recording studio, multiple swimming pools, mm -hmm. an island or a pond, and heliport. I mean, it's a lot. <laughs> what, um, every, what every buyer wants. It's very a different for <laughs> when, I, when you walk in there, you're like, Hello. Hello. <laughs> yeah. It's echoing because it's so grand. That's great. That's crazy. crazy. It's that's really fun to watch. Insane. Elvira says, I want to date with Steve. Well, <laughs> looks like we're, we're going to make a match for you today. All right. <laughs> All yeah, these girls. Send through. <laughs> Application. Okay. There's a long line. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Um, what, else, what else are you guys really excited for fans to see this season? Do you guys get into any arguments at all, or is it pretty... Always Not pretty really. Friendly. We were just talking about it. We're at the network, and I feel like um, with the risk of sounding a little bit boring in the Bravo world, maybe I feel like the mature, like they're my brothers, mm -hmm. especially Steve. I've known him for 10 years, you yeah. know, over 10 years now, and I was pushing for him to come on the show. I'm so proud of him. Mm -hmm. He's doing amazingly well. I mean, business being so young and making that kind of money, I can't even imagine. And on the show, which is very difficult to mm -hmm. share this much of yourself and your business and your Rolodex, we take huge risks, you know bringing these uh, multi-million dollar properties and developers and clients from I um, <laughs> need to sit up better um, <laughs> posture uh, so I'm really you know he's done so and I watched him closely this season he's so fearless like mm -hmm. with my first second season I still had like you know limits it feels like as I watched him in, in this trip that we're not allowed to talk about and he's <laughs> just so amazing and yeah. I'm really proud of him you know did you feel a lot more comfortable this season yeah, I yeah. mean, I think I just, you know, the whole first season for me, mm -hmm. last season was, it's like you got pushed in the water and you got to swim yeah, and there's all swim. this stuff mm -hmm. going on and it's like, I wasn't used to being in, you know, that sort of spotlight mm -hmm. and that much attention and cameras around and filming things I'm doing and and all of that together was like, it was like a whirlwind and I think it, it, I did, I think pretty well considering yeah. the circumstances, sure. but it was still, it's like, you know, for me, and everyone says it's like I'm an onion, like it takes time to get to know me. It's going to take time mm -hmm. for me to be comfortable enough to, you know, express myself fully to just, you know, be as stupid as I am in terms of <laughs> blurting things out or just like my right. natural, you know, uh, personality. Mm -hmm. And I think after having a year of doing it and just, you know, it's like, okay, like, you know, this camera's here, whatever, like, let's just talk, like, yeah, let's have fun. Totally. Like, you kind and, of pretend that we're And I think I did that, exactly. Mm -hmm. And, and it, it, they're, they're not really. It's right. like, it becomes mm -hmm. like, you know, second to you. And then you just become yourself a little bit more. And I think this season, a lot, I feel like it was that. Like, sure. I mean, and we brought a lot of personal stuff, a lot of things that I talked about this season that like I mean I didn't talk to my parents about mm -hmm. even so like you know it's it's I think it's pretty yeah, yeah. much different this season that's much great. more comfortable that's yeah. awesome uh, Jenny is asking who would you rather work with Bethany or the million dollar listing yeah guy? who would you rather yeah. work with for what work with I guess just <laughs> in general <laughs> Frederick yeah. Oh, this is where we pick. Oh, yes. oh Bethany's not on here, the card. What was it like working with Bethany? Are you guys going to do another season? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. Uh, I'm actually, um, I'm, it was really hard. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, I love, I, we, I, I always say this about that whole experience. Mm -hmm. I've never had that much fun. I mean, we laughed, yeah. literally. No one makes me laugh like she does, not even you. Uh, <laughs> but it was really tough, and we fought a lot, and, um, we're cool, but I don't think there's going to be a second season. Yeah, no. And by the way, like when we're, I was finishing that thing, we started filming this thing. So you haven't And then it. I had those other two things, the kids. Right. It all <laughs> happened at once, and it was a lot. That's this a lot. This was like November, December. Whoa. You're like Dr. Seuss yeah. with the things in like the socks. I like it. I like it. it. Um, more and more eccentric. <laughs> Wait to see my underwear. Um, Jay is asking, do the wiener dogs love the twins? 
Yeah, well, no, the Fritzy doesn't hit the older dog, mm -hmm. the older wiener. He doesn't seem to mind because they don't have okay. any food to give him. He just doesn't care. Minnie's a little, like, not scared of them, but she's very, like, her tail goes between her legs, and she's like, they don't seem to, it hasn't been any issues. We were afraid okay. for a while that they might feel jealous or, but they right. don't. They're cool, they're cool. That's good. Have you had, uh, has it been difficult balancing everything? Yes. Yeah, very much. Yeah, I was trying to give Ryan some advice today, you know, about fatherhood. Mm hmm um, and but I think my brother said it the best. You know, he has three kids. It is supposed to be a mess, like a beautiful yeah. mess. Like it's just a control freak, like me or us. You know, in our business, you can't look at it like that. It's just supposed to. You're supposed to fall apart and sure. it, out of love. So it's been a lot. Yeah, and we kind of see a little bit of Ryan's uh, baby journey this season too. I know in the teaser trailer they kind of open up about um, doing IVF and things like that. Were you surprised that they were this open about the, this part of their relationship? I don't want to speak for More them, them. Yeah. because, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. It was news to me, yeah. so. Mm -hmm. Well, hopefully everything goes I well. just want, I mean, I would love nothing more, because, you know, it would be amazing if they had kids. Yeah, a little play date. As soon, because then, you know, they could grow up together. Mm -hmm. Totally. That would be a weird <laughs> spin-off, MDO. Totally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This MDL. one's going to make Ryan really jealous. <laughs> Chris is saying, love your hands, Steve. Real man hands. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. Oh, I got see Ryan's, Ryan's going to be upset. I mean, okay. that was his thing, right? Yeah, uh-huh. Oh, yeah, I forgot, because yeah, he was a hand model. model. Oh, that's right. Yes. Okay. All right, so I want to play a little game with you guys. Guys, we have these um, paddles oh. of your faces. Okay. So we're going to play who's most likely to. So can you pick I, yourself too? Yes, you can pick okay. yourself. Okay, who is most likely to throw the best open house party? Okay, you both say each other. <laughs> What's the best open house no, party that you've thrown? No, we both say ourselves. Yeah, or your, yourselves, sorry. I my mean, open house are best. I'm sorry. Like, no I, 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 I think Frederick probably, like, has more tendons. I think mine's more actual fun. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> but, what, but what the best is to sell the property yeah, through the open possibly, house. Possibly, but I mean, I like a party. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Frederick, what was the best open house party you've thrown? I have, I have a lot this season, actually. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, 50, 50's house is pretty wild yeah. because, you know, I take busloads of people from Manhattan. Mm -hmm literally hundreds of brokers and then I open the strip club and uh, the, the, the dance floor. Nice. <laughs> Looking forward it's to that. <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> um, who's most likely to overshare on social media? Overshare? I mean, I don't, I don't think anyone. Maybe no. it's me. Yeah, you say Probably yourself. Me, yeah. You say Ryan. Why do you say Ryan? Yeah. No, overshare is a negative word, but then yeah. the person who shares the most is him. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't, I hope I don't too much. You share the least, I think, right yeah. now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Who's most likely to take the longest to get ready? Uh, I'd probably say this guy. The longest <laughs> to get ready is probably me. Yeah. Uh, I think you were my <laughs> yeah. second, I don't know. Maybe. How long does it take you to get ready? It's actually not l that long. I, you know, I used to be straight. And I used to have a lot of girlfriends, and mm. that was hours. Yeah. Hours. <laughs> hours waiting. My whole life was waiting for my girlfriend to get ready. Mm -hmm. Now it's very easy. Derek That's and I put on, like, you know, jeans, and we go out. And it's easy. Good to go. Yeah. All right. Who's most likely to be on their phone? Phone is all this guy. Yeah, yeah, always. Always. Yeah. Always on his damn phone. Mm -hmm. Okay. Who's most likely to date a client? I mean, I'm the only single one. <laughs> <laughs> so. Probably me. Ever dated a client? No. No. I, I'd stay away from Do that. Do not mix business and You just, and you're, you because know, she wasn't a, you made her a client. That's even better. Have you ever made a girl, girlfriend a client you did? Oh. <laughs> okay. okay. Who is most likely to steal someone's deal? I feel like we moved past that. Right. Um, no, no one. I think most likely though. Let me see. <laughs> Let me see. I don't <laughs> steal. No. What? I don't know. I think out of the three, like... Why well, would I steal a deal? I have more I deals know. than I can handle. <laughs> I can I'm most likely like like give you a deal because I don't need deals. And I, I'm so a question. Yeah. Don't take offense. <laughs> why, do you say, why do you say that? That is the rudest. <laughs> it, it's not meant to be rude. It's what it just is, like, is my integrity. And it's well, like... No, I don't think... It, I think... Like, yeah, no one's, steal, no one's stealing deals. Let me... Right. Let me you know. um, Guys, Frederick's not stealing deals. He's way too big of a broker. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't want to start big a fight. Big shot. It's <laughs> all good. Like, I mean, I was just answering a question, but I think, you know, like... 
I mean, you're very competitive. It's a good thing. It's a compliment. It's a good thing. All right, we'll, we'll move on. Yeah. No fights. Uh, who is most likely to forget an appointment or dinner plans? Forget an appointment mm. or dinner plans. Mm. Um, now I'm afraid to say Frederick. Yeah. <laughs> I'd say myself. Yeah. I would say Frederick too. But <laughs> Has that you know, before? And then I'm going to end up with no friends. Right. <laughs> this year I've been a little forgetful this right. year, but I think you're allowed to the first six months. 100%. You have twins, you're allowed to be a little forgetful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, a couple more. Um, who's most likely to start a fight? <laughs> what kind of fight? Like just an argument, I guess? Like just not like a physical fight. Start what well, sorry. I don't know, start a fight. Start a fight is you for sure. <laughs> no, but not a physical. Like, I guess me. Yeah. yeah. Hook up. Yeah. I admit. All right, last one. Who is most likely to show their jealousy over a deal? Jealous over a deal. I I can I can I can be jealous of the yeah. I was gonna say mm -hmm. our friend. Oh. Do you guys do you get jealous over deals? Or are you happy for each other? I think I think at this stage we're all pretty happy for yeah. each other. I think like you know we can compete. We could want something, and someone else is going to get it. I mean that's the nature of this business, mm -hmm. and you know the small sphere we're kind of in. But uh, overall, I think we're happy for each other. I mean, mm -hmm. I am definitely. Um, Sarah is asking before you go, tell us what kind of girl you want. <laughs> oh, if I, need, I don't know, Sarah. You know, <laughs> what kind of girl I want. One that, I don't know, like what every guy wants. Someone that you connect with on an emotional level, like um, that shares similar values, uh, likes dogs. Um, Trial. You know, mm -hmm. helps me be a better person. I help them be a better person. I mean, that I'm physically attracted to and want to have sex with all the time. Like, that's it. <laughs> There you go. There you go, Sarah. Sarah. <laughs> right? I mean, what that's else a good answer. answer. That's a good like answer. It. Guys, thank you so much for coming by. Oh, thank so you. Thank for you. Season, season seven of Million Dollar Listening New York. Make sure you watch it Monday nights. On Make Bravo. sure you watch it. Swipe up. <laughs> <laughs> that's right.